How's it going, Heather? It's seventh. I'm Elder Haddock, um, and I wanted to share a couple insights today about missionary work and the joy that it brings to our lives, the joy that it will and can bring to our lives, and the joy that it has brought to my life. Um, I like to start off by explaining what we do as missionaries, what a normal day looks like for us. Um, we go to bed at 6.30 a.m., or we wake up at 6.30 a.m. every day, go to bed at 10.30 p.m. And so um, that's our that's our schedule. No sleeping in, no slacking. Um, every day that's what we do. And it sounds bad at first, but you get used to it, and it's really not that bad. Um, but we wake up, shower, uh, work out, eat breakfast, get ready for our, for our day. Uh, 8.30, we plan our day. We do a daily plan. We do that for 30 minutes, make sure we know what we're doing for the day and where to go, who to contact, who to call, um, and to set up any lessons we may have, to plan any lessons we may have. Then we go into three hours of study from nine to noon. Um, we do our personal study, our companionship study, and language study. And then we have lunch from noon to one. And then for the rest of the day, or you know, either inside doing online missionary work on Facebook or on Messenger, and then we're outside as well, or having lessons in members' homes, and we have dinner around five to six, maybe four to five or five to six for an hour, and then we're back out and we work till nine, and we're done at nine, and from nine to ten thirty, we we get ready for bed and we finish up our day. So that's what a normal day looks like. Um, I'd say something I love the most on my mission has definitely been the people. You meet a lot of amazing people out here. Um, and not just the people that we teach, but also the missionaries here. They have a great spirit about them. Their service and their examples of Christ like love really do mean a lot. Um, I'd say one way I've grown is um, I've learned how to be confident in myself. And as well as to not... Um, not conform to other people, um, because I have to, um, but to stick with my beliefs, stick with who I am and to not let other people tear my testimony down just because they, um, think differently than me. Um, some advice I have would definitely be to not worry too much about the small mistakes you make. No one's perfect. That's also another way I've grown is I've understood that not everyone's perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes. And don't 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 try to be perfect. Um just try to be better. I I'd say and we can all be better and that is that is ultimately perfection. Striving to be better. So that'd be my advice and be yourself while doing it. You don't have to lose your personality becoming like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has has made us all unique for a reason and um, continue to grow and be better and be yourself while doing it. Um, I love to share my testimony um, and my testimony has grown a lot as I've been out on my mission um, and it's all because of this book, the Book of Mormon and I'm so grateful for the example of examples of my life that have turned me towards um, this book and also the amount that I've learned about Jesus Christ and the amount of love that I felt um, from Jesus Christ and from the Holy Ghost while reading this book and I start my day with this and I promise that it can do the same for you. I know that um, I know that life is hard but I know that through Jesus Christ we can overcome anything that is thrown our way. He's not going to give us anything that isn't too hard to handle. And the harder life is, the tougher he thinks you are. And I know that's ironic, but I know that he will bless you in your life for following him. I know there are miracles in store for those who have faith in him. And I know that you all have that faith and you will continue to develop and grow that faith as you come closer to him. Seize those moments. I know that the Lord has his timing and his timing is different than your timing. So trust in that. And I have, I promise that you will see blessings. I have seen blessings in that. And I have seen blessings from serving a mission. And I have found greater joy than I have ever found in my life from doing so. Um, thank you so much for your time. 
I hope you all make that decision to continue to follow Jesus Christ. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.